Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. T5 the Traveler here with Becky the Trekkie and it's time for another port of call. We are in Puerto Limon, uh, Costa Rica. It's a beautiful country here. I've got some friends uh, back home that come just on vacation down here but we're going to show you the port tour of what it would look like if you just come off of your cruise ship. So the port's right over there. We're on the MSC Divina to the left. They've got another dock right there to the right. You can see those mountains in the background. The clouds are touching them all the way up to the top. We've got uh, a little bit of, we shouldn't have any rain, but the, it's a little bit overcast. So it was, the sun was shining really bright about 20 minutes ago. We got a little bit moving in and then this is gonna move out. So we're gonna have some sun, sunshine and some, and some cloud cover and that's A-OK -okay with us. It's uh, very warm out here today. I'm gonna say like 85, close to 90. And uh, we'll bring you inside and show you what some of the, uh, the shopping looks like here and just in the port. We might uh, pop around a little bit to see uh, if we can find some local cuisine or something and then we're going to be on the uh, on the t-shirt hunt, of course, at some point. Uh, looks like they've got them right here in the entrance, so we might not get them right away, but we'll push through and uh, see what we can see here in Porto Limon. Hello. How are you? Thank you. Hello. Good morning. Howdy. Foot massage. All right. They're offering foot massages and things like that. Boy, you can get these hand-carved uh, arts and crafts right as soon as you get uh, in through the gates. They've got lots and lots of vendors out here, so we'll probably push back through this area uh, on our way out to do a little bit of shopping just to see what they've got. Looks like you can get uh, two for ten or six bucks a piece on these earrings. Uh, not too bad at all. They've got some cover-ups over here if you're looking for some of those white uh, party clothes. We had that white party last night. We'll have that video out there for everybody to see. Sloths are a big thing in this area, so if you're in a, into collecting sloths or something like that, uh, you can get them. If you're looking for a new handbag, uh, they've got some leather goods uh, over here hanging up. Looks like pretty high quality. They got some nice belts. Uh, if you're looking for a nice belt, you can really smell the leather, so that's, a, that's the real deal right there. Costa Rica license plates they have at this station over here. They've got little uh, kids' clothing over there. Uh, I'm seeing some leather goods and some sloth, so I think uh, sloth is going to probably be the theme. Maybe we'll try to get a Puerto Limon with the sloth on it, a uh, t-shirt like that. Uh, if you're into parrots or any of those tropical birds, you can get some arts and crafts that match that. They've got Costa Rica hats galore, and really, I like this sort of thing it's kind of it's a nice it's nice and cool I it, I'm not we're not we're not getting hassled here uh, so that's a that's a good deal some more sloths down here oh this is some beautifully hand carved uh, artwork if you're looking for uh, sharks or a marlin I'm seeing there and some parrots and other things if uh, they've got owls so if you're into owl collecting uh, you can get those at that station right there and it just goes on. I think we're gonna have a lot to see today, so stick with us, this should be a fun one. Uh, tropical shirts over here. Uh, what else do we have? Okay, so uh, keychains, bottle openers at that station. There's there's some jewelry over here. Uh, you may want to bring your testing kit if you if you're if you're shopping jewelry down here. I'm not saying it's good, not saying it's bad, but it doesn't hurt to uh, you know throw the throw the laser light on there and see what uh, the percentages are so you know what you're buying. Uh, they've got snakes down here at the bottom. I'm seeing a lot of those hats, a little bit of tropical hats, lots of woodwork, uh, woodwork galore lots of sloth items and uh really they've got some fans running in here it's nice and cool and uh, we'll poke around okay you can get your passport stamp and this is the post office so if you walk immediately through the beginning of here and you want to get your passport stamped you can do that in this location right here and they've got the post office so if you want to try to mail something back you're like oh i really want that uh, statue it's a good price and the shipping's not too bad you can ship it uh from that location right there okay we're gonna poke around just to uh, see what else we can see in this area and then we'll head out into the city join us okay so just coming out of the shopping area right there in the immediate port this will take you out into the city you got to go through this turnstile right here they've got some friendly security staff uh, right there waiting it looks like they have several vendors just outside the fence are probably gonna ask you if you need uh, taxi rides or if you're looking for that uh, sort of thing they've got their own little key card and I think they just kind of wheel you through right here okay through we go and then if you're looking for a taxi they've got three vendors right here if you're looking for one we are doing our YouTube video so we're gonna do a little walking around tour we appreciate this service but wave to the fans back home you never know they might see you might want to hey here's a friendly guy right here come see this gentleman right here okay we're not getting the taxi we're gonna do a city tour but we will be uh, 
we, we are happy that you're here to serve. Thank you so much. They got they got coconuts for a dollar right there, and we're gonna try to get across the street. Ready? Let's go. Let's see. Ten minutes to the beach, he said. From that location, looks like they've got a, a little uh, play area for the kids over there. If you want to take the kiddos, and then let's just push on in and see what we've got. You've got El uh, Curacao uh, coffee shop right over there. He's got local beers, sodas, water right there. Right as soon as you get off the port, they've got some t-shirt vendors out here. So I don't think we're going to have any trouble uh, finding any t-shirts. They're out there working hard. Hey, everybody. Uh, they've got some silver jewelry and things like that. Uh, right off, right off the, right out of the gate. Vendors out here. We're seeing a lot of shark items, uh, animal tooth items and things like that. Not sure if they're fox or real, but uh, who knows? We could maybe do a, a check. Uh, got Costa Rica handcraft items. And really, it's a beautiful little area. They got this kids park over here uh, to the right. And then coconuts seems to be one of the uh, one of the things of choice of the vendors out here. Uh, handmade necklaces. Pretty cool. Actually, really nice work. Uh, looks like it's all all handcrafted. And we'll just push up into the city just a little bit. We're not going to go too, too far. Uh, we'll probably take you over here. We'll show you the beaches up next. We'll cut down the right side of this park right here. Those are some of the vendors as soon as you get into the city. And uh, we'll see what we can see. There's going to be a lot of shopping, I have a feeling. We saw the one coffee shop. This dog's having a nice little uh, little snoozeroo. Looks pretty, uh, pretty tame. So... Well, all good and we did see an iguana right when we first got in it was yeah. a big one i'll probably try to put that photo out there they've got a nice store over here to the left we probably will uh we'll poke in there on our way back we're going to go check the beach and uh they've got some nice nice wood carved items right over there okay let's push in across the street uh we do try to do it on the quick uh, this isn't too trafficy. Uh, San Juan and Cartagena was uh, crazy, crazy, crazy to try to get through the traffic, but this one isn't too bad. Uh, all in all, looking pretty good. So what we're going to do, we'll push down here towards the ocean. We'll show you that. And then down to the left is the other central area. So we'll push back that way uh, after we see the beach. But let's go down and just see what the, see what the water line looks like. All right, off we go. I think they just got some rain here because that's looking pretty wet over there under the trees. Alrighty, so you can get some ice cream over here to the left it looks like. It uh, looks like she's just getting ready to open that up. If you're looking for a cold beer or something, they've got them all over the place. I'm seeing Heineken over here. That's going to be the Imperial uh, Columbus Platinum uh, location. They've got these huge palm trees. I mean, these are some big palm trees. Massive, massive. I'm not sure what... Uh, what species of palm that is, but the, the look at the width on the trunk of that it's like uh, almost like 10 feet wide at the base there so that's really cool uh over to the left let's see what they have it's it's the municipal building i believe uh looks like uh yeah mun municipal of uh port of limon interesting there's uh there's the central statue there uh if you want to get a photo with that looks pretty pretty good size bronze they got everything painted nice and colorful did they paint the trees or is that just bottom. how they grow uh, i'm not i'm not sure let us know in the comments if you if you think the bottom it's just like a straight line across i i, I assume they they did that to treat them for some some reason not sure and then this will bring you right down uh to the beach line looks like we've got some other vendors out here with some drinks and things and we'll just see what the uh see what the ocean looks like all right, so if you want to get a picture with the water, the ship's over there in the background. We just came out and then we took that right right down here between the kids' play area. It brings you right down here to the water line so you can get out here by the, by the ocean. That breeze is really blowing in strong right now. It was bright sunny like 20 minutes ago. It clouds up, so expect variable weather. There's a little sprinkle, but actually it's cooling us off. It was like 90 degrees, and it's, it's really kind of comfortable out here right now. They've got some nice resorts over here in the distance, and they do have a, a, a beach over there. I don't know if it's private or not. We may be able to make our way over there, but this is where the ocean is. You're just right here on it, and you can get down to it. I am going to say that there are some better beaches down this direction and up this direction, but this is not a bad spot for a good photo op. If you've got the sun and it's right here behind you, 
great place and it's a nice safe area for the kids they, i see some kids out here having some ice cream and stuff like that uh parents they're well attended all that good stuff and uh we'll just carry on we're gonna go back down that road and we'll push back into okay the so you can get your cafe coffee over there and then mostly down there that's gonna be the ice cream for the kids in this nice little uh play area so if they're looking for a place to cool off they got the tree right here we're just one day from christmas as of filming this uh probably won't be able to get everything edited and posted until uh january february who knows uh but uh, it will be out well, along with the other uh, port videos. We're going to cross across the street here and we're just going to push on up the central uh, road and this is uh, Avenue 2. Avienda Dos is where we're at and you just kind of follow this uh, multicolored sidewalk uh, right down the line and it'll take you on up and I'm hearing some music and some birds up ahead so we'll see if they have some local uh, wildlife or other things to see uh, while we're making the tour we really we really like that sort of thing so okay off to the left they've got another souvenir boulevard so don't be afraid to I mean you don't have to feel like you got to jump into the very first shop uh, as soon as you get down here they've got lots and lots of shopping options that I'm seeing oh this might be a local pet store Becky let's pop in this looks like the Atlantis Aquarium is what it's called. And they're selling some animals here. So let's just see uh, real quick what they've got. Uh, looks like you uh, can get your fish tank supplies in here. They've got all kinds of parakeets, uh, different types of animals, finches and birds galore, uh, accessories over here. And uh, wow, I guess, the, I guess the locals must shop down here because this is where the local pet store is. So if you're looking for something, uh, for whatever reason down here, uh, you can get it. Oh, they do have some other, other animals. All right, just past the Atlantis uh, pet store is Lima. That's where you can get like uh, washers, dryers. So they have like uh, local, uh, local shopping down here as well. They've got Jose uh, Paulo right there. You can get uh, t-shirts, outfits. I'm hearing some tunes playing in there. They got Christmas hats, Christmas, uh, red Christmas dresses, so if you want to get something to theme for the ship, that might be a good spot. You can get your red dress if you want to do that. Over here, they've got Connection. That's going to have like bags. They have uh, collared shirts, swim gear. I'm seeing flip-flops, tennis shoes, uh, all kinds of different uh, clothing options, handbags, things like that. Over here, this must be one of the busier roads. And uh, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it quicker the better Becky so sometimes you just got to give it a go and try to get across that street all right so they have more good uh, so if you're looking for a stove or something you can definitely get them if you're motorcycle shopping bicycle shopping uh, looks like you can get you a motorcycle and a washing machine in that uh, store right over there very interesting I'm not sure on the pricing and this must be the local currency it's like 1,443,900 in local currency. I, you'll have to convert that at home to see how much those motorcycles are running. All right, now they've got uh, Mundo Magico off to the right. That's gonna be another store. Uh, I'm seeing like uh, microwaves and sunglasses, all kinds of stuff. They really got the music cranked right over there. Okay, Cafe Limon, let's check over here. This is gonna be a food option uh, for our foodies out there. Let's see what they've got. It looks like nuts, okay. Different types of uh, peanuts. I'm seeing mixed sample nuts. I'm seeing uh, cashews and uh, this looks like it has some type of M&M, probably a local candy in there. And several options, I think you can just get it. And it looks like they do have espresso and a cafe uh, machine. So if you're looking for a cappuccino or something out on the street, that might be a good uh, store to do it. This one's got some handbags. Uh, I'm seeing $15 shirts in there, shoes if you need a pair of shoes, flip-flops, sandals, sandals galore in that one, t-shirts, all kinds of good stuff on that side over here. Subway off to the right. And is that a chicken place? Golo. Oh, I thought, okay, another furniture store she's had. I couldn't see in there. Yeah. Oh, they're selling couches. Okay, I I thought it was chicken. Uh, <laughs> all good. Uh, I was like, isn't polo chicken? Uh, okay. Subway, $3.50. Get you a sandwich right there, sub sandwich. $3.50 on that side of the street. Looks like we've got some more local uh, vendors over here under like these tents and huts uh, just across. And we got to get across another street. They don't have like the walk signs 
or any random or reason. It does look like it's one way. So uh, we we'll, might have to catch back here as soon as we get across. We're gonna try to do this one safely. Okay, so we made it across that street. If you're looking for what's like the straw market area or like the local area where you can barter a little bit for shoes, clothes, uh, hats, all that good stuff, you can push down in here and then just ask the vendors if you're looking for anything in particular. I'm seeing kids' clothes, all kinds of different things. So you, uh, anything clothing items related, right down through that area right there. They've got another shop out here. It looks like you can get some local eats. Uh, they serve a little breakfast and lunch over here. I'm seeing chicken wings. I'm seeing some local handmade uh, chips. Uh, these look like... Uh, well, we would call it like a hot pocket, but it's an empanada and uh, it's like a stuffed uh, pizza bread, something like that. Uh, over here, we have, I'm seeing some stuff falling from the trees. Sometimes there's animals above you and you don't uh, you don't realize it right away. That's the Caribbean sole there. You can get your accessories. So if you're looking for like a battery, uh, something for your cell phone, any, anything like that. I'm seeing lots of leather goods, tons of leather goods. If you're looking for a belt, scarves, hats, and they have shoes, they've got Nike shoes. If you're looking for a particular pair of Nike shoes, you might be able to get them there. This is getting real loud, so we'll uh, we'll pick back up with you when we get through this music. Okay, we got past those tunes. That guy had his music just cranked to the max. He was overmodulated. All good though. Uh, and now down here, now this is maybe where you can get the chicken. Okay, so this is El uh, Polozo. And they've got an express number there if you want to call it in. Let's just peek up and look at the buffet and see what we got. It looks like rice, uh, some type of Caribbean chicken. They've got some pineapple grilled up over here, steak, and it smells pretty good, actually. Uh, that may be a good local uh, place to get a bite to eat. We might do that once we get, uh, get through the tour here for everybody. We're still on Avenue 2 running this way, and this is another crossroad street. And it does seem to be all one way, so you don't have to worry about, like, traffic from both sides but you do need to be able to push across the streets uh, as you go I think we'll just come up here we'll just cut the end of Avenue 2 or we'll make our way back in and then they have the municipal uh, sales building which is right over here behind us we'll come back through there and see if we can get any deals on some t-shirts okay let's go quick Becky very quick here we go everybody run with us all right we made it so be prepared to move quick if you need to have good shoes uh, we wear our backpacks, keep everything all zipped up. I do have my passport on me just in case. We got our phones with us, all those good things. So when you go into the uh, cities, it doesn't hurt to just have your information, keep it in your front pockets, uh, that sort of thing, and it should be all good. All right, we'll carry on. Another t-shirt store. It looks like if you're looking for some uh, $13 original gangsters there, they got Snoop and Easy. I'm seeing all of them uh, right there. Chicago Bulls jerseys in this store. Uh, we're still on Avenue 2 just across the street. They've got some street uh, vendors out here selling jewelry and watches and things like that. Uh, remember to check to see what it is before you buy. They've got another little shop right here and this one's going to be seafood. It's called Varisco's. I think you can get crayfish and, and fresh fish and maybe even some lobster. It could be uh, Asian themed I'm, I'm seeing maybe it's like a like a Chinese restaurant or something interesting oh, yeah. All right, YouTube, what's up <laughs> got some locals there uh, recognizing us that's awesome uh, we'll just push right on through and see what the rest of Avenue 2 is bringing okay so if you're looking for Nike tennis shoes Nike tennis shoes you want to get a purse a handbag uh, a pair of flip-flops or something or if you're looking I'm seeing a lot of Chicago Bull stuff ironically enough so uh if you're looking for uh chicago bulls you can definitely get it down here you may even be able to find like a rare pair of jordans or something that uh you might not be able to get your hands on in the states they got a local uh shop right here it smells really good i'm not sure what those gents are eating but it uh maybe i'm hungry i don't know all the food down here smells really really good if you're looking for some fresh local produce you can get it over here just remember if you're on the ship you cannot take the produce back on the ship but you can uh purchase it over there those grapes are looking good i'm seeing a lot of mangoes and things hanging and the grapes are just huge they've got these big bunches of grapes <laughs> oh it, too bad you can't take that because that yeah because we really like uh we like grapes and and, and grapes and home fruit homemade fruits and stuff like that Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, we're gonna do another block here, Becky. We gotta get across the street, and we're just gonna show everybody what it's like. No, they thought we were gonna run. I thought I was gonna run. We're just gonna wait. Now we'll go. Wait for them to cross on that side, then we go. Choo-choo go. Okay. 
They've got the pharmacy over here to the left. So I guess if you're looking for, you need an aspirin or something like that, it's gonna be over down here on Avenue 2, uh, just past uh, this intersection, which is uh, Calais 5. So we're in, well, this is like Street 5, Avenue 2, uh, basically. They've got fresh produce on this side. Look at the garlic hanging there. They got pineapples. They've got, uh, oh boy, the, the produce looks good. Everything looks fresh. Look at the peppers up here. They've got nice red peppers. Uh, wonderful things. There's the queso. Okay, so you can get some local cuisine in here. It looks like meats, cheeses, uh, that sort of thing. Just kind of grab and go. And the vendors are really everywhere uh, down here. And honestly, I don't feel hassled at this port. Everyone's been real friendly, even had a couple of shout outs uh, for, the, for the channel so far, so that's been awesome. They've got another little uh, grocer over here to the right. I'm seeing some local juices and things like that. There's lots of security. We feel very safe here. Uh, I think it's a wonderful place to, to come and walk around. So if, you, if, you're, if you're mobile, you got to watch out for these like uh, uneven terrain and things like that. And I'm noticing that the curbs are very tall, so I'm guessing that they get a lot of rain real fast and it kind of fills up the streets for a short period of time and then it just kind of washes it out and, and Nassau Bahamas was similar to that here's the Imperial beer truck and he's working hard I'm sure they sell plenty of cold beer uh, down here it is nice and really it's pretty warm this this overcast is kind of a godsend uh, right now because I'm, I'm starting to sweat already and uh, it's it's just uh, the Sun's just just trying to peek through the clouds uh, just a little bit, but honestly, it's it's really pretty comfortable out here Okay, they've got the optometrist off to the left and there's restaurant 21 over here They have lots and lots and lots to see and eat and do uh, Wow, I'm seeing a toy store over here to the right. They've got another side street down here um, It just goes on and on this is a very big city actually and I'm guessing that this is some type of a racetrack or something over here, maybe they have a local uh, local event, or it could be baseball. Uh, hard to say. Okay, so we're gonna have to get. Okay, they're going. We're going. Everybody's going. Perfect. We made it. All right. Let's see what we have here. Terra Pan. Uh, looks like home baked bread cafeteria. If you're looking for a hero sandwich, I think you can get a good size one in there. All right. More kids clothes. Good lordy. This thing is like the mall of america with uh with all the shopping if you're looking for jeans you're looking for jean shorts you can get them if you're looking for uh earbuds i'm seeing earbuds here anything you might want they've got keyboards in here that's another accessory store i'm seeing cell phone cases of all kinds and then up next is going to be more fresh produce and we're probably just going to pop up here uh, just up to the left and see uh, what the stadium is. But boy, look at these grapes. Oh, they've got avocados, both colors. They've got a little bit of uh, everything. And I'm seeing some I'm seeing some items that we can't get. Oh, those are the hots. There's your hot peppers if you're looking for some hot peppers. And uh, wow, they've just got a lot to offer at this port. I think this might be one of those locations. So San Juan was probably another one that you get there and you're like, boy, this one would be a good one to just stay for a few days. So you can kind of pal, you know, pal around and get to get to experience some of the local cuisine. And, and I know they have a lot of waterfalls uh, in this area. And if you get a good guide, you can go cliff diving and, and, and that sort of thing. If you're into that, uh, just make sure that you start on the lower levels and you work your way up and you gotta be a real good swimmer for that. It's not something I'd recommend you do just on a whim. Uh, you got to land in your feet and land the correct way and all that good stuff. But uh, that is available here as well. You just got to get you a local, a local guide to do that. If you're interested in that, uh, just send me an email and uh, I can put you in contact with somebody if you're coming down to this area and that will, uh, that will give you a, a good tour. Okay, so that's going to probably bring us to the end of Avenue 2. It looks like it, it runs right up into that. And I'm guessing from these stadium lights that this is, uh, this is a baseball field. Yeah. is what I'm gonna say so if you want to you want to go through the city really there are side roads and that you can see and really everything has things we're not seeing a lot of rundown areas uh, or abandoned buildings or anything like that so okay we're gonna push back up here this way towards the center we're gonna try to do a little bit of shopping and uh, then we'll get back up towards the the beach maybe on this side and uh, we'll let you know what we think of the port all right 
Okay, so we just popped in the local grocery store. They sell sloth food. I, I, guess, I guess people have sloth as pets down here quite a bit. Uh, it must have because they sell it in the grocery store. <laughs> so that's interesting. We'll just come back here and just pop in and just see what some of the local meats and cheeses and things like that look like. Uh, I'm not sure what the conversion rate is, so you'll want to look that up at, at home. But you can, you can see some of those price tags up on the wall if you're looking for a toy for the kids down here or something they've got them uh right down here at the end towards the meats and the cheeses and let's just see what they've got so it looks like pre-packaged you get like hot dogs over here this is going to be sausage they've got uh some cold cut meats and uh looks like pork cuts interesting it doesn't look too bad they've got some nice little steaks down here it looks pretty nice so if you're looking for some uh, local produce, if you're staying down here in like the hotels or something, you want to grill out, you might be able to do that. The rest of it's just like a basic grocery store. You might see some different types of fruits and veggies down here that you're not used to seeing. If you're on the cruise ship, just remember you can't take those back on the ship. All right, we'll carry on. Okay, so we made our way back down Avenue 2 to uh, Street 4, and that's at this intersection. And this is where the municipal building for like the indoor uh, bargain shopping is. We will pop in here and just see what it looks like. Have no idea, but if you're looking for clothes, kids' clothes, I'm seeing kids' clothes galore. They've got some areas down to the left over here. It looks like you can get uh, a couple of beverages down there. We'll just pop, we'll just pop in. We're, we're looking for some t-shirts, so we're going to see uh, what we can see in there. I'm seeing uh, lots of sundresses. I'm seeing jeans. I'm seeing some Superman stuff over here. Uh, lots of clothes. If you're looking for a bra, some intimates, uh, kids' clothes over there, they've got them in that store. Uh, up here, uh, looks like you can get some local meats, uh, raw meat. It's a little butcher shop. Oh, okay. They've got, I'm seeing pig's feet. Uh, they've, they've got pig's feet and beef toes. Oh, boy. So if you're looking for the foot of uh, the cow, you can get it right there. I don't think I've ever had a beef foot. I've had a pig's foot. But uh, I don't know. A beef foot might be interesting. Uh, hard to say there. Okay, so over here they've got some vendors selling some local items. Looks like uh, if you're looking for some cigarettes or something like that, you can get a pack right there. I don't know if they'll let you back on the ship with them or not. You have to ask on that. Uh, collared shirts over here to the right. They've got little bags. I'm seeing some Disney-themed uh, items over here. Minnie Mouse is right there. They've got little kids' uh, flip-flops. So if you're looking for something for the kiddos, I think this is a good spot. You can find some kids' clothes. I'm seeing them in all kinds of stores. Tank tops over here to the left. They got some reindeer staff uh, to the to the left in there. All everybody's already themed for Christmas. That's going to be tomorrow. They've got some sundresses over here, and uh, really, it just uh, it's kind of nice once you get in here. It looks a little dark coming from the outside to get in, but we're not being hassled in here. We don't feel uncomfortable, so uh, definitely worth a go if you want to come in and try to haggle uh, a little bit for some for some clothing. If you got kids and you're looking for themed outfits or something, you can't you can't go with a better a better spot. Really, I've seen I haven't seen this much kids clothes in a, one spot in a while. Uh, I guess let's be brave. We'll we'll walk down and uh, walk through here just to check it out and see what's down this way. Uh, this one's shut down. It looks a little dark, but we'll, we'll check it out and see what the stores look like. Okay, so they've got uh, swim trunks. If you're looking for some swim trunks or a baseball hat, I'm seeing St. Louis Cardinals, Yankees, uh, that sort of thing. The store over here to the left, I saw more jeans, backpacks. They got some nice size backpacks over here to the left. So if you need a new backpack, uh, you might be able to find something. I saw some Fox racing gear over there. Lots of Nike uh, shoes in this, uh, in this area. I'm seeing any particular uh, type of Nike shoe that you might not be able to find in the States or something you might be able to get them down here and then it opens back up it's not bad it's not bad it's just they need to add a few lights I think and then they'll be a-okay uh, grill stove tops uh, so locals must come in here to shop here is the local local produce uh, we're seeing these coconuts and things like that I think you can get things pretty cheap buck here buck there it goes a long way uh, with the local produce and that sort of thing hot peppers but just don't like I say don't try to take them back uh, but if you can enjoy them here feel free now the hot sauce over here some of this local hot sauce and uh, things might be okay if it's sealed up if you want to get a local vinegar or a, or some type of uh, a topping uh, for a salad or something that you couldn't get uh, you might be able to find it there over here looks like a little kiosk they do cellular repair so if you're having trouble with your watch or your phone uh, you can probably maybe get it fixed right there and there's a cat there's a local cat El Gato uh, de Puerto Limon he's right there these are herbs fresh herbs I'm seeing ginger uh, 
they've got a little little scale there and uh you can get what you want i'm sure these are very hot those look like habanero or some type of uh, hot pepper they've got some roots over here interesting if you're looking for uh leggings sweatpants or that sort of thing for the girls clothes you can get them right in there i'm seeing a lot of jeans and uh really there's a lot of shopping lots and lots of shopping okay becky is there something you want to go look for t-shirts um, yeah buy some t-shirts all right we'll do it all right just coming out of the municipal shopping building that's going to be that exit right there and then right in here if you're looking for fresh fish i mean they've got it but they got some blue crabs out here they look like they've been sitting i wouldn't recommend that but the shrimp might be okay if it's refrigerated everything on ice in the case is probably going to be a-okay uh, it's really fresh you can smell it they've just probably just brought it in from the sea today huge shrimp available here so if you're looking for uh, something to to grill right up those are massive shrimp for shrimp on the barbie uh you can get them i think they just put this out really i don't remember seeing it when we walked by the first time so looks like the, the local fishing is oh they've got lobsters right here on the ice very nice lobsters on ice. hey how you doing hi hi <laughs> We'll, we'll send them to come see if they're looking for a lobster. <laughs> All right. Awesome. This is fun. All right, everybody. We're just pushing on Avenue 4. We're heading back up towards the beach area now. Uh, we did talk to some local vendors, and they do not sell Porto Limon uh, labeled clothing inside uh, the city here. They must have a reserved... Uh, licensing or something like that so you have to get that in the port dock if you want a port to limo and shirt you'll have to get those in that first entry area where we just come inside the port so we'll do that on our way back out uh we'll grab those t-shirts on our way out which we weren't sure if we were going to do anyway when we got here because a lot of times like don't don't be in a rush to shop right when as soon as you get in the port push into the city see if you can see something that you like and if they don't have it you can always grab it on the way back uh to the ship so okay so this is avenue four we're going to push on down uh, just passed and you'll see those palm trees in the distance we'll get down there to the uh, to the beach and we'll make our way back up uh, towards the ship and tell you what we think all right okay real quick just at the end of Avenue 4 they've got a ready uh, pizza place so if you're looking for a slice of uh, pizza it almost kind of looks like a little Caesars or a Pizza Hut or something with the they got the breadsticks uh, selections there there's your pricing use your conversion uh, at home there to see what that is gonna run you and uh, looks like there's no line in there so if you want to get a slice of pizza it's just down here Avenue 4 there's the beach right there so you could just kind of hug it down this first path and you get make it to the ready pizza right there on the spot let's go up and let's see if it's uh, cleared up and see what the water looks like all right we made our way back down uh, towards the end there <laughs> he's having a good day <laughs> how you doing he said one up one up one love what oh, what's up oh a tour yes I have a band oh we're no problem we're, we're doing our uh, YouTube vlog okay thank you but I'll I'll send about 4,000 people your way next week <laughs> all right if you're looking for a tour, that gentleman right there, right here by the by the park down here can do tours. He said he can take tours for two if you wanna do it. They got the cars right down here, so if you wanna do that, you can do it. Just remember, if you take a tour off out of the ship and you don't make it back to the ship in time, they may take off without you. All right, everyone, that is the Porto Limon port here in Puerto Rico. I got to say, they got a beautiful little country here. Uh, friendly people. Honestly, we felt very safe here. Uh, the port's nice. The city's a little bit uh, traffic-y, so be, be prepared to uh, run across the street. We didn't see stop signs in some areas. Other areas, we saw stop signs. I saw one street light, right. so be prepared to move quick. Wear good shoes, all that good stuff. We found some $10 t-shirts, so if you're looking for some of that Porto, uh, Porto Limon, or any of those things items you want to get them right here inside the marketplace if you're looking for Porta Verde shirts you can get them in the first store just off to the right hand side by uh, where the big park is and all those trees are they've got a lot of nice photo opportunities out here they've got great weather out here it's very tropical they've got the mountains in the background the landscapes beautiful they've got palm trees and everything galore there were lots of local food vendors so if you want to get a taste of some local cuisine you can do that they had fresh fruit fresh fish we saw lobsters we saw 
well. Uh, grapes, the bananas were huge. They had avocados, all that good stuff. Uh, if you're staying in town, you can you can enjoy all those things. If you're on the cruise ship, you can't take them with you, but you can enjoy them in town. We could have ate some grapes while we were walking around if we wanted to right. do that. Uh, nice little port. Uh, definitely get off the ship for this one. If you're wanting to do excursions, I know they have things that'll take you off into the rainforest, or you can go on a boat tour through the canal or something like that. The weather looked iffy. It was going to be overcast. We weren't sure if we were going to catch some rain or not, so we decided to just do the tour for everybody. Next time we come down to the port, I think we're going to take a train ride through the uh, through the rainforest and maybe try to see some of that local wildlife, some of the sloths and uh, monkeys and things that live in the area. But all in all, great port. Had a great time. Any final thoughts? Yeah, it was a nice stop. I loved um, the little gift area right where you walk in. It was nice. Awesome. Lots and lots of shopping. So if you're looking yeah. for those Nike shoes, anything Bulls related, we saw all kinds of deals. I'm sure you can haggle, cut deals. Uh, just check your currency exchange rate for that day or the week and uh, maybe get a little local currency. You'll just probably want to spend it while you're here. But they were taking our dollars here in most of the spots. You can just ask how much US and they will they will do that. The local vendors for like a $3 food item or something like that, you may want a little local currency. But all in all, uh, I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10 uh, for the for the port had a great time on this one thanks for joining us we'll have more videos out soon uh, please click the subscribe button if you haven't yet and we'll see all our fellow travelers on the next video bye everybody